Joseph, I'm speaking healing over you. I'm speaking healing. You wouldn't know that what God said for you to do, He will give you provision for it. He's asking me to release healing over you. Pastor Alf gives Brother Joseph a word of wisdom concerning his future. And the healing being transferred. I see you healing people because the deposit I'm dropping in you will be so intense. He was about to kill himself. Yes, Papa. He says, the day he decided to end his life, he lives in Cape Town for four, four years now. For four years, he lives in Cape Town. The day he endeavored to kill himself, he walked in his friend's house and there he watched us on television. On Soweto so so TV. On Soweto TV. Yes. And what happened? So once I saw the people that was being healed, the people said, ah, I have to make 10 to go to Johannesburg. But I've never been in Johannesburg. I was traveling straight from Congo to Cape Town. So I said to myself, I have to decide to attend this church in Johannesburg. Then I attended at Linda's church. So the day he decided to kill himself, he saw hope. There is hope. I said there is hope. Don't kill yourself. Don't end your life. Don't die before your time. There is hope. And he decided, though he has never been in Johannesburg, he decided to come. And now God is telling me, time to be healed. Amen. What I do, I've been commissioned for. And with broken heart and humility, I stand before God as one that will be held accountable. I am not praying for him to pray for him. I just don't do that. I'm not gambling prayer. I'm healing you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I've never met him. But the information I have is God heard your prayers. Amen. Stretch your hand to hold it. The congregation of AMI pray yeah, together in pray agreement together. for Brother Joseph's healing. Together. Release healing over him. Begin to pray. Zaholo Moshia. Kababosa. Zehala We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I heal your son. I see all this healing over you. You will be witness of this testimony. I saw Pastor Half was preaching in Soweto TV. I said today, I want to see also the man of God. I'm not going to die. I have to see him. So I make it to be in Jordan. But yesterday, it was amazing. My life was completely changed. I was being restored.